Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I am just to the R. <laughs> you just came in, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, teacher, have yeah. you had another class with other group? Evening. Before this? Yes. Yes, of course. Really? How many class do you have uh, before this class? With uh, For English Corporativo, only two classes. This class and the class before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And are you are you teaching another institution like a college or a university? I do work in other institutions. I have... Um, I also work in for dif depending on the situation. I work for NGOs. Um, I work for non-government organizations. I've worked with USAID. Um, I've done interpretation and translations. I've worked as a trainer. So, depend the situation cool. or the project. I usually have this. Also, I also worked in different places of uh, many different schools and areas. Cool. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. around the country yeah. and you make a you has a preparation for the TOEFL or the IELTS yes that's the class before you the class before you is the TOEFL class okay mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm interested in this in this class yes how can I get some class about that when you finish your advanced three then <laughs> you are then they offer you the TOEFL course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Hey, the other colleagues is inside the class. Hi, David. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hey, there you go. Hey, now that we got them, we got them back. Exactly. Very nice. Okay. Floor, you look a little sad today. Everything okay? Everything is okay, teacher. Okay, only checking the nails, huh? I, I, esta uña que cada rato se me quiebra. It's true. It's true, right? It, too many washing dishes, too many dishes, Flor, too many dishes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you here at home. Hey, Flor, what's about with your child? That's her, right? That's your little daughter? Yes. What's My baby is sleeping. Ah. She, her name is Naomi Sofia. Naomi Sofia, that is your daughter, Flor? Yes. You have two children. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two or two? three? Two. Two. Two children, yes. Two, okay. Okay. Hey, Daniel, do you have any children? Yeah, yeah, I have two. But it's, two um, it's the most. Um, uh, the first one has 14 years and the another has uh, 12. Good. Remember, has is in Spanish, not English. So in English, is if she, uh, she is fourteen years old. Oh yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. no, I miss, I make a mistake. The first no, one no. is the first one is uh, 12, uh, 14 years old. Okay. The other is twelve years old. Ah, okay, okay, and yeah, yeah. okay. David, do you have any children? Yes, uh, we have three. Three children? Yes, three boys. Uh, ah, only boys. Yes, what only happened? boys. What happened with the girls, David? You don't like the girl. What happened, huh? Yes, I like it. I would try with another. <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> one more, David. Wow, you can do, David, it. You can do it. You can do it, David. I believe in you. No, David. Uh, the problem is, is that just... I need to... <laughs> The problem is that I uh, I need to find the girl, but with another girl. <laughs> mm, they're going to listen to you. They're going to listen to you. <laughs> uh huh. Hey, no, she's not. Hey, your wife is not connected today. She has problems right now with the computer, but I think right now is connected. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, that is only oyente. Is oyente, okay, no problem. I'm sorry. 
no, it's okay. Sometimes if, if you can't speak, only listen, no problem. If not, I change. Are you going to participate, Nelly? Yes, I will. I will. Okay, then I'll change the name. Don't worry. It's easy. That way you can participate. All right, there we go. Well, it's great. I, I love hearing about it. I'm glad to know that all of you are ready to begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a moment. We're going to make breakout rooms and we're going to talk about our weekend. Now, the important is to answer WH questions, right? I don't need to ask. Do you need to explain? Do you need to speak? What did you do? Where did you go? Who did you go with? Why did you do it? When uh, the idea is give the details. No. How was your weekend? Good. Mm. Uh-huh. What did you do? I went to the beach. Okay. Uh, what beach did you go? No, this is not a conversation. You need to be able to practice speaking. So you're going to talk about your weekend. Make sure you include the information. Uh, imagine the WH questions. What, where, when, why, and how. Okay. Those are the ideas. Okay. We're going to have, we have three oyentes. So we'll have three groups and one in each group. Okay, are we ready? Just a few minutes, not a long time, only about the weekends, and then we begin to review the second conditionals. Okay, and for those of you that forgot, the second conditional is this. This is our second condition. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Okay. Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. All right, so that should help you with the second conditional. Okay, remember, second conditional is talking about those ideas, things that we imagine that we think could happen in the ideas of not real situations. That's the most important part. Okay. 
Here is the second unreal condition. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. This one is formed with IF plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is not Okay, welcome back. We are ready to go ahead and continue. Great. Did anybody do anything interesting? Did you listen to your partners? Did anything unusual happen? In the case of uh, when you're listening to your partner, oh, they went to the beach, they stayed home. No? Only floor cleaning the house, right? I... <laughs> what did you, I, I cleaned the house, I washed clothes. Uh -huh. Xiomara, tell me, tell me, what did you hear? What happened? Well, I was uh, listening to Nelly mm -hmm. and she was a uh, exciting weekend. Oh, uh, okay. uh, last Saturday, she went to uh, her grandparents' house and she went to the church twice. And she uh, went uh, last Sunday to the another house she has uh, on Lourdes. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is renting uh, to the Colombians. Uh, the Narcos. Yes. The, the yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. And they haven't paid the, the rent for many months, I, I, I think. So mm. Nelly is so worried about it. Do you need to begin the process to... Uh, the legal the, process, yes. Yeah. The legal process, yes. Unfortunately. No, no. They are Colombians, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, when David called them, they didn't answer. They don't answer. We think that they have to go back to their country because they have uh, problems here with the bad, bad business. Okay. I think it's in this red, the estafadores. Ah, the network. Uh huh. Yes. So they paid this month. So that is why we, we can't do anything. Mm. at the okay. moment okay so now it's okay now they pay yes now it's okay but they don't answer so uh -huh. we went yesterday to our house for to try to find them in the house but they didn't uh, they were not in the house okay and you 
you I heard Xiomara say you went to church two times. Yes, on Saturday, in the morning and in the afternoon. Is this normal? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you always go two times. Yes. The afternoon is Ota is okay. I imagine. I imagine los pecados de Nelly en la mañana, los de David en la night. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's okay. And she made pupusas <laughs> at night too. Hey, that's good, Nelly. The next weekend, invite Nelly. Yeah, and they, next weekend, sell pupusas. We invite us. We invite everybody to the church if you want. You go. We can go to the church mm -hmm. and yes. after to the dinner. Okay. I explain. <laughs> I explain a little bit about the church. I love the, in the morning. We have a, <laughs> in the morning we have a the principal uh, meeting of the Sabbath, mm -hmm. and in the afternoon we have a program dirigidos. Ah, uh, directed or led? Uh, yeah, directed by Joe people. Ah, okay. All the, so all the, all the programs made by the Joan. Joe, Joe, Jovenes. Young, young. Mm -hmm. Young people. For everybody. And then the pipe founder of the church mm -hmm. made pupusas or something to eat for sale to re recaudar, refund. Ah, the fundraiser. Fund the the uh, fundraiser. Okay. Yeah. That is like a pipe founder is like a Boy Scout. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, it seems like you guys always have a very busy weekend, a lot of activities to do, like other people. Great. Anybody else? No, everybody else, the typical weekend. More or less. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So today we're going to review a little bit. We are great that we talked about the weekend. We remember the past tense. Now it's important, the past tense, because we are reviewing the unreal conditionals. Unreal conditionals, we use the past tense. We don't talk in the past, but we use the past. What is the difference? The unreal conditional is for imaginations. For the people that didn't come to class on Thursday, we're going to watch again a small video to help you review and answer any questions about the unreal condition. This is 5.3 in your platform. You can also go back and watch the video if it's not clear in a moment, but it's 5.3. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Uh, I'm sorry, can you, did you have a question? No, okay, no problem. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. 
if clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay. Before we continue, uh, because we're going to practice some of those exercises to make sure that it's clear, do you have any questions about conditionals? Anything, uh, any section that you're not sure about? Remember, conditionals, it doesn't matter how you begin. Both answers have the same meaning, okay? So if I found $1 million, I would buy a mansion. I would buy a mansion if I found $1 million. The order does not matter. The order is not the important thing in conditions. The important part is the grammar. This is the most important part about the conditionals. Did you use the correct grammar when explaining? Okay. For those that are mm, maybe a Teacher? little... Yes. I'm not sure, but I remember in the exercise, we used um, past participle. Not past participle, but past tense. Mm -hmm. Because I remember I used have done, for example, mm -hmm. in some sentence. Yes, but you use had. Yes, had. Exactly. That's the past tense. But when you use have, has, had, then if you have another verb, you need a past participle. But it's not for the conditional. It's for had. Ah, okay. It's for, because the verb have or has, it's uh, auxiliary verb. Correct. So if you have two verbs, then it's a past participle. But only the verb, for example, cell phone. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. It's not a verb. So it's only one. I have a cell phone. But if I use two verbs, buy and have, I have bought a cell phone. Uh, okay. Okay. So when it's, Thank you. You're welcome. So when you use have for auxiliary, then it's the past participle. How do you know? Because there are two verbs. If you don't have two verbs, it's not auxiliary. It's only the verb. And I see, Daniel, you have a question? Yeah, I was yeah, on a comment. Mm -hmm. And this, in this situation, uh, uh, when I was, when I, when I must to use, if it's only in an imaginary situation, or is a suppose? In today's correct? class, in today's class is imaginary. What you imagine okay. happen. But there are many types of conditional sentences, Daniel. There are conditional sentence zero, conditional sentence one, conditional sentence two, conditional sentence three, conditional mixed tenses, mixed conditional. So we can have a total of five conditional tenses. In this unit, we are looking at conditional number two. Number two is imaginary. Each conditional has a function. For example, here, the one that we use is for theoretical you, uh, probabilities. Mm -hmm. And we use it in the same form with the if, the simple past. In the main, we use the model and an infinitive. Some of the examples here. Teacher. But, yes, David. Can you say, can you send the page that you, that you find, that you put right now? This one. Yes. 
One moment. Hang Thank on. You. There you go. Thank you. Of course. Mm -hmm. So this is the same that in the video, only that is the format instead of going like a video is the information from top to down. And it's with the example. <coughs> Here, all of these are with colors to help you understand. If the blue, so that means if simple past. Main clause would be would in the infinitive. Would past, could infinitive, might infinitive, the same. And as you can see, you can change the order. The order is the same meaning, the same meaning. There is no difference in meaning. Only the only, only technical difference is the comma. The comma only if you begin with if. If you do not begin with if, no comma. That is the only technical difference. Today, we're going to practice um, with our partners in the rest of the class. We're going to review the second conditionals. But before we go to the second conditionals, are there any questions, anything that's not clear that I explained? No. OK. I think, no, I don't have a question. No, have a question. I think the most important is practice. When we practice, it's easier for us to understand and easier for us to get. So in this moment, I'm going to send you some links in the chat. OK, I put them right now. Um, if somebody would like to share them on my WhatsApp, that's fine. OK, we're going to practice several different types to make sure that it's clear for all of us. Okay. And okay. So we have three different links. We have enough time to make sure that we complete them. Oh. Okay. Any questions before we begin? If not, then we'll make the groups and start off. Okay, let's do it. Hold on, please. Oh, of course. Sorry. That's okay. okay. Everybody open up the links. Yes. Hmm? Okay. Yes. Good. Gabriel, did you have some problems? No, teacher. OK, Gabriel. You want to try one more time? Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to try sending you to another room. 
Let's try. Gabriel, I see you're still not able to connect. Everything okay? Okay, I'll share with you, Gabriel. So at least you can watch the video and try to get it one more time hmm. Okay, so we're going to check the first one just to make sure that you're doing it correct. That way we don't continue, continue with a lot of mistakes. Okay. Let's check the first one. Okay. So here we had several exercises. Okay. Xiomara, number one, Daniel, number two, Carla, Alicia, number three, Nelly, number four. And we're going to go just to make sure that everybody is doing it correctly. Xiomara? Number one. Yes. If her hair were black, mm -hmm. she would look completely different. All right. Very good. There we go. Daniel, number two. Is if the weather if the weather it's better we go to the park. Is letters. That option is not available. Try again, Daniel. What is the answer? Yeah, the letter letters letter C. Is letters. if the weather the weather is better, we would we would go to the park. Okay, I'm sorry, that's not correct, Daniel. That's not correct. Okay. Letter A. Letter A. Ah, mm, why? Very nice. Why? Daniel, it's not correct because you are not applying the grammar. If the verb in past tense, if the verb in past tense, not two times present, not two times past, one past, one present. Okay, good. Carla, number three. Okay. Read the sentence. We will learn a lot from the things if they could talk. Okay, nice, there we go. Nelly, number four. No, it's not about David, it's about here, come on. 
he turns to pig. If he if he uh were an animal, we will be a sheep. He would be. I'm sorry, he will be a sheep. <laughs> exactly. Okay, <laughs> correct. Yes. Okay. Now here is very important. Where is always correct? Nelly, remember grammar where is always correct grammatically. When speaking, many Americans use the word was. Was, but it's not correct for grammar, but it's correct for informal situations. That's the next one. David, you ready? Let's try. All right, let's try it. Uh, we'd be on the beach if we will be in Mexico. No, if, if we were in Mexico. Okay, better. That's right, because with if we use were, the past tense. Good. All right. Hector, try number six. If there were... No mosquito, there will be no malaria. Okay, very nice. Good, that's right. I'm getting it. Flor, number seven. If we don't mind camping, but if we... Let me see. Let us see. If we have enough money we mm -hmm. stay in a hotel okay listen to what you are saying remember the grammar it's not correct remember the grammar if we what do we use with if what do we use in the second part who can help floor letter b teacher. D. letter d or b b b, b. correct that is correct. So you had correct the first part, Floyd. Remember, if the verb in past, correct. But the yes. second, always the model. Always the model. Yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, Rebecca, number eight. Okay. Um, if he were a young man, he will be able to walk faster. Okay, correct. The first part, if, past tense. The second part, he, the model, and present. Great. Gabriel, number nine, Gabriel. <clears throat> Is smoking where alone? I have a cigarette. I have a letter A. Yes, teacher. Okay, Gabriel. That is not correct. Remember the grammar. The grammar is not correct. If, past tense, I, what do we use before the present? What do we use before the verb? Will have. I would have. Correct. That is correct. We use. The model, I would, I could, I might. Excellent. David, could you please help us with the last one? If I will have a penny for every can of soda I drunk in my life, in my life, I will be rich. That's tense, David. Yeah, if I had. Okay, yeah. there you go. If I Thank have, you. right. Why? Because we already use in the second part, we already use it. So in the first part, if the verb in the past tense. Okay, all right, a little bit better, much better. I just wanted to make sure that it was clear before we continue. Now we're going to make our partners one more time. We're going to continue with link number two and link number three. Um, don't worry, I don't think we're going to finish both links, but 
I sent to you link number two and link number three so that we can practice one more. I'll give you a few minutes for link number two and then we check. Okay. Let me check. Perfect. Ada, you, uh, I see, we're having, oyente. are you having problems connecting, Ada? I'll try to send you to another group. Wold. Wold. No, wo wool. Wold. Keep it. Uh -huh. it. Keep it. At the last. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Wouldn't keep. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. If, they, if they didn't wear the Pullovers in the mountains. He could. He could be. Of course, I wouldn't. Maybe wouldn't. Wouldn't say. Wouldn't yes say. No? I think yes. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, because the. Ya no, me apareció el cuadro, ya no me apareció el cuadro para volver a seleccionar. Ajá. I think it's right. Ok. Number four. They, they gave. They gave it if you... Ah, no. They could, they could give if you thought... The options are didn't touch, don't yeah. touch, wouldn't touch, wouldn't, they, and wouldn't touch. They I will. think it's they. <laughs> they wouldn't touch it if you. Gabe. Gabe, Gabe them. them. My no. He. Um, they don't touch. They don't touch. Mm -hmm. 
if they we have to find mm -hmm. where coloring the mountain it it cool It wouldn't. Will be too cool during the, the teacher night. teacher is here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, we can use good or cool. You have to use the negatives. You make the decision. Yes, the negative form is what you're going to use. It wouldn't be too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to use the negative auxiliary and you're going to use would or would not. In negative. In negative, uh-huh. So depend if it, if when it says negative if for the model, it's going to be would. If it's for the verb, you have to use the verb in the negative form. Phone. Okay. Only if Lori, I can't see very well. Telephone is number. It's funny to know. In past, new. Tony. No. Her phone number. Who? Will not give it, give it to. Will not like, will mm -hmm, not like I into the front. He will not give because he, I believe it's the, like the almost the same like the first one. Is not we, uh, for no for. If we, if we, if we did not visit, this notion we, we wouldn't, in all tenses, in all tenses, we use wool. No. Yes, would or wouldn't. Okay. Would. Would. He don't. Uh -huh. If he don't. Oh no. Remember with the conditional if we use past. If he didn't. If he did. If he did. We wouldn't be believe. We wouldn't believe. Believe, yeah. Yes. Number ten. If I. If I had a dog, if I had, if I had a dog, will carry, carry yes. things for me. Didn't bully. She's bullying her class, but she's coming. Uh, she will have not friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If she didn't print. The yeah. document, she she couldn't correct it. I no, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. I think I, I couldn't I correct it. 
Vamos a ver. <laughs> your result. Uh, your answer A. En cuando hay como una tres. If Tony News. Ah, pero ahí lo pusimos bien. If Tony News. Ajá, no era might to give us gold. Ok. Couldn't as wood. Not too bad. Okay. You guys have any questions? Only a little bit of different options, but it's pretty good. Any questions? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I think it's only to practice it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more practice. You have one more link. But yeah, that's the idea. Now you're understanding. The most important, remember. The oh. only question that I have is mm -hmm. when you are talking in the real life, uh where when you are use it when you are going to use this always uh, always because, because when i talk english in united states i don't remember this part of grammar <laughs> yeah. uh-huh because you don't talk about the uh, what happened in the future yes that, that, okay uh -huh. that's the difference because if you if in the real life uh Hey, David, what happened if you're not married with Nelly? You use this. What happened if you ha if we buy you a ticket to visit us? You use this. What happened if okay. uh, you use this? This is the grammar that you use. Ah, si me compro el boleto, yo, ah, uh, uh, I would go. No, I go. This is uh -huh. the Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. That's the way. Thank That's you. That's the way. Always, always is what you imagine is for this. This is the correct grammar. Okay. okay. Good. You have one more link. Go for it. Okay. Open next. Tell me, Flor. Uh, with the third person, always you were. Yes, Flor. Oh, sorry, Carla. Sorry, I thought it was Flor. Sorry, Carla. I just saw. Sorry. It sounded yeah. like, uh-huh. Yes, Carla. Always the correct grammar is were. You do not use was for the third person. Always when you imagine, you use were. Okay. So I, you, we, he, she, it, they were. Okay. Okay. Let's go. If you, if you, if you look, saw. Ah, if you looked. No, if you looked. We looked. At his look hand. at his hand. You would the last one. See. His hand, you, you would see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see it. Yeah. 17. Uh, how one well laughed. How one well. well would laugh. If it were true, oh, no. uh -uh. would laughed. Would laugh. Mm -hmm. Vaya, aquí tengo yo la duda porque si siempre va a ser el güero en todo porque aquí es was. <laughs> Why, teacher? It's an informal. Correct. Always um, is correct were. Only is correct was in informal. Mm -hmm. Number 18. Folks. Um, folks. Wouldn't mm -hmm. know. Wouldn't mm -hmm. know him if he left. Mm -hmm. If he left. Left that. Mm -hmm. Hector, 19. John never knew, knew, knew 
John never knew that noise to cease, and he doubt know if he stayed. If he stayed. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, here a thousand years, that same loud murmur, murmur, murmur. good feel, good feel. Yes. They see the air. If they did, they wouldn't get up. <laughs> Teacher, we lost Rebecca. Uh huh. I see. I saw you. Rebecca. <laughs> She had problems with her connection and she had to re restart the computer. So we almost finished the exercise. Okay, no problem. But you and Gabriel can finish? Just and I can't with my phone. I don't know if Gabriel has the computer that he can share. Gabriel, do you have computer or with your phone too? I I I have in the phone. In the phone, okay, no ah, problem. It's difficult. <laughs> yes, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult on the phone, but the important is you practice a lot with Rebecca and you almost finish. Did you have any questions? I have a confused teacher when the first part with the conditional if, but in the, in the word that we have to complete when we say to be, we have to use was. No, the no. only, you always were. were. Was oh, okay. only for informal, was only uh, informal, but yeah. always informal. Um, I was um. a little confused on, on that, even though you, explaining before we <laughs> we be here in these uh, rooms no always problem. wear always wear always wear good let's go back to the other room let's try okay okay, okay. Okay, now we're doing much better. Yes, better after the practice, right? Only it's a little bit of practice. Now, a couple of questions. Yes, always is correct where? Always is correct where? Was only correct in informal situations. Where is always correct. But was is especially common when you speak. When you speak, that is very common. People say was, but is not correct for grammar. So why is the difference and why is the importance? Well, the difference is just like in Spanish. One is the way that you speak correctly and academically, and the other is the way that you speak naturally. Is correct, sanitario, but I have never heard somebody say, ¿Dónde está sanitario? I have always heard baño, right? This is the difference, the same in English. In English is correct, the grammar. Why it's important that part? If you are going to take the TOEFL exam, the TOEIC exam, the IELTS, if you in the future plan to take the exam, you are not going to have informal. You're going to have formal writing formal listening and formal speaking and you have to be clear that you understand those that's why it's important but when you speak you can use was if you like but it's not correct all right guys so Teacher. yes Nelly. we used was when we are talking for all the persons or only for the third person 
Only for the third person. Very good question. Ah, okay. Only for the third person. Mm -hmm. And many times you have to remember that it's for, it's for memory. So I was, he was, she was. So also the people use it for the first. So sometimes the, you are going to hear, if I was, um, ah, but it's not correct if I was. The correct is if I were. But because the people are speaking quickly, they are not thinking. They are going to the normal grammar. He was, she was, it was. And then because this is the normal, they remember was. That's why. But the correct grammar for conditionals is were. Okay. And we, when we're speaking, mm -hmm. we're speaking, it's not too formal to say where? No, it's not. It's the correct way. Uh, if I were, you were, the people know that it's okay. It's the people, many people use a was because they forget to change it for the second conditional. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. It's similar like, uh, I guess it's a little bit, it's a little bit formal, but it's similar like, hey, Nelly, compré un nuevo vehículo. Are you offended? Are you, is it bad? Is it wrong? No, but I can say, compré un nuevo carro. Right? Now, what is the difference? Always is the grammar. Vehículo does not mean car. Vehículo es un vehículo. That grammatically, vehículo es cualquier con motor, pickup, carro, eh, SUV. But for Salvadorians, vehículo es carro. Pickup is pickup. Moto is moto. But in English, vehicle, vehicle, vehículo, like in the Spanish, cualquiera que tenga un motor. Like, ah, but for us, we understand different. This is the difference between the grammar and the speaking. That's where you have to be careful. But you don't offend anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for connecting. And we have three more classes. Tomorrow we continue with our platform and we advance, okay? Thank you. Okay, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. You too. Nice. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.